So you just sat down and you have two cameras in front of you. Yeah. Every angle, I'm about to shoot pictures of you too. Cool. So what's going through your head right now? I should have checked my teeth in the mirror before I came here. The camera here is definitely on my bad side. And that's because of the part, the part so far down over here, that it makes my face imbalanced. I'm ready for it. Um, it's kind of a little uncomfortable, but I don't know, just kind of intimidating. It's really weird. And I've always been self-conscious of this side of my face because of the part. Because this side is at least like, you know, masked by some hair. Sometimes I break it down in my head and I feel like objectively the girls that I want to pursue are out of my league and I feel like that stops me uh, also like I see I look at like the kind of guys the girl hangs out with and like I objectively compare myself to them and if I find myself falling short which I do most of the time or at least in my own head um, then I'm like yeah well if she's around those kind of guys she would never be interested in me so that's so like the standard of beauty for like my race or whatever, it would be light skin and you have like bigger boobs and like a bigger butt and like straight pretty hair um, and like obviously like I'm none of that. I do remember at one point I was a bit ashamed, ashamed of the fact that I wasn't like the other kids that I grew up with and the only real difference between us was that they were white and I wasn't. I'm aware that, you know, my facial features are a little different. Like my eyes are further apart than they should be, which has never, that's, that part's never bothered me. But I don't have like a brow ridge. So like, whereas most people, like their face like indents, mine just kind of like goes down and then goes out into the nose. Which like, anytime I see a side view of my face in a picture, I like despise it. I think it just comes from the fact that I don't think that I'm like I'm the prettiest so like I think I'm pretty average looking. I find that I'm acutely aware of my the things about myself that I obsess about so my insecurities I mean I've known them for a while and I've come to terms with them. It was a very long process of just me in a way taking a journey within myself and thinking about the things that society tells us like this is beautiful or you're supposed to look this way if you want to attract the opposite sex, if you want to have a partner, um, in order to be respected you have to wear these clothes and like keep yourself looking in this way or in the other and just me really thinking about it and being like you know, my outside appearance doesn't define who I am. Now, ever since I made that decision to just accept who I am and just pretty much embrace every aspect of myself, I definitely think that I'm, like, I can finally say that I feel like I am beautiful, um, despite going against the standard. I had a friend in high school who used to, like, always, like, every time I went like this, he would, like, comment on, like, the, the gravy scooper or the bat wings. Um, and that, like, struck a chord in me. And then that's when the bulimia developed. The insecurities don't come back. Um, I'm aware of when I'm getting looked at differently, though. Wait, I don't want to cry. <laughs> oh, God, go ahead. Andre is incredibly loyal to the people that he's close with. And he's not afraid to step up and tell you if you're doing something that he doesn't agree with or that isn't morally correct. Uh, when I see Brandy, I always see her smiling. I always see her so excited about just everything in life. Um, you can see how passionate she is whenever she talks about the things that she loves. Um, for example, a lot of the whole neck of her movement, we can tell that she just loves herself and that she wants other people to see themselves as well. So she, um, created this little, um, I guess, group to help others love themselves as well. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. When I look at Shannon, I think the thing that I find most beautiful about her and, like, what I admire the most is how strong she is. Like, she's 
so many setbacks and obstacles in her life and just see how she overcomes them and how big her heart is and how positive her outlook on life is and how she gets over overcomes everything like I think that's like her biggest um asset and like what makes her so beautiful as a person I would just say that I love his loyalty and his support. He's a really great friend. Um, I don't know if you know, but um, I've been music in the past, and um, uh, I rap, and he's helped me out a lot with uh, getting shows and just getting connected with people and uh, just helping get my stuff out there. And it's always a great time to hang out with. And yeah, that's my buddy, Eric. My man, <laughs> I mean, I, that, I guess that makes me happy because that is the kind of person I try to be, so. To hear that people, to hear that one of my friends thinks of me that way actually makes me feel really good about myself. Like, kind of goes back to what I said, like, I might not be the most attractive guy, but I have, like, attractive traits. That's interesting to hear. I think, because she's been through the same stuff that I have. Uh, so we share like a, a good connection with that. Um, so hearing her, the, that my strength is something that she finds most beautiful is, it's uplifting. It makes me happy that that's how he feels. Um, because I do, I do strive uh, to just be a good person to all people as best as I can be and in a way to empower people to just accept themselves and who they are and empower them and encourage them to do the same for others um, because again I feel like we live in a society that they, it, this society is very good at pointing out the imperfections in people and if we can just twist that a little bit and start to look at imperfections as just being different and it's a part of who you are, you know, it's what all those quote unquote imperfections are what make you who you are. So why not just accept the fact that that's who you are and be happy with it? I mean, at the end of the day, outside appearance should really mean absolutely nothing. Just, I don't know, just having someone just from a different point of view, it's just really nice.